Hey guys, what is up? My name is Krizia and welcome to my channel. I am a West Coast University nursing student and I am currently in their ABSN program. Um, I have about maybe around one year left one what 12 months to 15 months left of the program so in today's video i'm going to be talking about um common questions and facts about west coast university you know how do you get into the program how much does the program cost and how fast is their accelerated bachelor's of science and nursing program so those are the questions that i'm going to be answering in today's video if you like these kinds of videos don't forget to hit subscribe and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button you and Okay, so West Coast University. I found out about West Coast University from my friends who attended. I actually lived by the one in Los An by the one in Los Angeles. I had friends who attended the program and a lot of them had already graduated and some of them actually ended up failing out of West Coast University. The reason why I decided to go into West Coast University was because it was fast and they start literally every 10 weeks so getting into the program was very easy the only issue is like financial aid to make sure that you have the money to afford it so let's start off with the very first question you know how do you get into their program so what you want to do is you want to go onto their website and put your information into request more information depending on what you want either like the dental hygiene program or the nursing program and that's what i did and within about like 10 minutes, someone called me and I didn't know who it was, who it was and, I, and I answered the phone. And they said, you know, what I was interested in and they advised me that I, can, I should go to their informational session um, that they hold every couple days at either campuses. So if you go into their website... I'll show you guys where to go. Um, I just googled West Coast University informational sessions and they have informational sessions that happen almost every single day at certain times. So they have one every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, depending on which campus you want to visit, then the time changes for each one. So I definitely encourage you guys to check that out. That is the best way for you guys to get the information on what you will know. Since I started the program in August of 2018, I don't know what their requirements are now, but I will just go over with what I did back in 2018. Again, this may not be current and up to date, so the best thing to do is to go to the informational session at the university and see someone and speak to them yourself. What I remember when I went to the informational session meeting, everything is usually based off of points. Um, but just because it's based off of points doesn't mean that you're gonna be put on a wait list. Depending on how many students want to start in the next term, um, you have to meet all the deadlines and make sure that you complete everything in order to be part of the next cohort. And so the fact that West Coast University starts every 10 weeks, they accept a lot of students. Um, and in order, again, to get into the next term, you have to meet all the requirements before then. And they have certain dates that you have to meet. Before you could even get accepted, there are certain things that they take into consideration, which include if you had an, a GPA, which is like your high school, or if you've had a previous um, bachelor's degree or associate's degree, they'll take those GPAs into consideration and you'll get certain points. Another thing is that you'll be taking um, a TEAS test, I think. I don't know if it's a TEAS test, but it's a test that you take online. Um, it's not a TEAS test. It's something else. I forgot what it was called, but you take that test. Depending on the score you get, you get certain points for that as well. And... Um, that is all that I remember. There may be certain extra more things, but so far they kind you have to meet like let's say you need like eight points in order to be accepted into the program without any probate academic probation or anything like that. And so you gain those points from your GPA, from the score you get from the test from the test and also a couple of other things that I don't remember, but hopefully this information could is useful. If you're looking into West Coast University, because I didn't know how easy it was to actually get into the program and how easy it was to start because of the fact that their terms start every 10 weeks and so they take in a new cohort every single 10 weeks so it's really fast you know if you're someone who's been waiting to get into a nursing program and have been waiting for a long time West Coast University is the reason why a lot of people end up going to is because of how fast you can get in and how fast you can start. Other thing that you want to go over is you know how fast is their accelerated program so when I started, I actually completed all of the general education requirements and it all transferred to West Coast University. 
um and so there's four classes that i had to take that was mandatory to take only at west coast university which included pathophysiology um capstone um and um like ethical research something like that there's four classes that you have to take um before you can start core and that took me aug from so august 2018 i then i started i completed those four classes in two terms and started my nursing clinical core term in january of 2019 so that was only about four months of me you know starting the program and then starting my nursing core in total from me starting with completing all my prerequisites it was going to take me about 27 months so two years in about three months um and if you start from the beginning it'll take you about three years to finish or 36 months to finish not 100 percent sure but i'm i think that's how long it takes for you if you start at the beginning and you take all your prereqs at west coast university each term that you have is 10 weeks long from week one to week nine you have classes you have quizzes that's basically your lecture time and then on week 10 that is basically when you have your final and that's it and then you start again on the following monday so for this term i have my final on a tuesday then i start my new term the following monday so it's very fast paced we don't have any vacation or any breaks the only breaks that you have is between the next term which is less than a week or um thanksgiving we have um like the thursday friday off and then the longest break that we have is usually around christmas which um starts maybe at mid-december and starts back again at the beginning of january like after the first or second week of january depending on when january first falls so that is the only time we have breaks it is hard and it requires a lot of time management um but you know if you put all your effort into it and you work on you know your time management and your study habits and everything it is very doable it's just very stressful and it takes a lot of mental capacity and resi resiliency to like be able to constantly do it and it's just a go 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 kind of program and there's no way for you to mess up because when you mess up you do face consequences and i'll be talking about that later on the biggest question and a lot of the reasons why people might not end up going to west coast university is how much it costs this is just going off of my most recent financial aid that i got or like the they give you like a document of how much it all costs and i'm just going off based on that so for me i started um in august 2018 so when you take out money or when you pay the school you only pay every two semesters because you don't want to pay it all up front because something can happen you know you might take a break or you might end up failing a class so they usually do it by every four terms you have to repackage and um, pay the school for your tuition for me it averaged around maybe let's say thirty five thousand dollars every four terms that i had to pay and in total for me i had about 16 terms so if it cost me about $35,000 total, it was going to make me repackage like three times. It was going to cost me around an average of $100,000 of how much you have to pay for the entire program. But again, every four terms costs around $35,000. This is just taking like... This doesn't include books, lodging, or anything like that. This is just a tuition itself for the school. So it is very pricey because it is a private school. Um, but they do include a lot of things that you get, like your clinical, um, clinical duffel bag, your uniform. It's all paid for with that tuition that you pay. And so then you start to question, like, where am I going to get this money? Um, Again, you the school provides you with resources. They have a financial aid advisor that you will be assigned to that will help you out, you know, with what you can do and how you can pay for the school. But they do show you your um, eligibility for grants, for financial aid. Um, other things you could do is look for scholarship. They do have scholarships. Just look them up online or speak to the financial aid advisor. So financial aid, what you have to do is complete your FAFSA, which is what you do online. It's your federal aid. And depending on how much you're offered for that, the rest is basically how much you cover. So, for example, if I get $10,000 in financial aid, um, hypothetically, and the cost of, you know, how much I owe is $35,000, subtract that $10,000 from federal aid, I still owe $25,000. So, then you start to question, like, where the hell am I going to get $25,000? You either can pay that, you know, 
um, out of pocket, which you pay every month. I don't know how much they have payment plans, but you pay that out of your pocket yourself. Or the other thing is to take out a private loan um, from a private lender, which is what I did. So they do provide you with a link of where you can apply. Another issue that people come up with is you will probably need a co-signer because as a nursing student, you may not even be working. So that's another issue that a lot of people um, have with when it comes to starting West Coast University. I actually ended up almost missing the deadline and not being able to start of August 2018 because I was lagging so much on getting the money to pay for the school. And it got to a point where they called me and they're like, hey, it's full, sorry. Um, you know, if we don't get this done in the next three days, you're probably not going to start this cohort. And I was like rushing and like doing so much things to try to make sure I start. And they're like, oh, hey, you know what? Like, yeah, we can fit you in. But honestly, it was probably BS just to like get me to start like like basically to get everything done. So I don't know if it was really true, if they were really full. So I don't know if they just like squeezed me in. Um so yeah, those are the options on how to pay for your school if that's what you're thinking about. And uh, in total, if you start at the beginning, it will cost maybe around $144,000 around that area. And that doesn't even include interest rates. But in the end, nursing does provide a really good salary or has really good pay. So I've heard a lot of people that were able to pay off their loans within like two years. You know, if you really put your heart and soul into paying your souls and just eating nothing and staying at home and not doing anything for your life, it is possible to pay your loans off if you have really good financial um, skills or anything like that, but I don't. Okay, so another thing too is when it comes to this school, you know, in general in life, they don't baby you. You're not supposed to be babied. The thing that when you get a job or when you, you know, are in school, they're only, how do you say this? The only responsibility that your school has is to remind you of deadlines. Like, hey, you need to submit this before this deadline because if you don't submit it, you're going to be clicked out, kick out, kicked out of clinicals if you don't pay before this date. You know, we're going to put a hold on your account. So there's a lot of things that they tell you, like, this is when it's due. You need to get it done by then. If you don't get it bun- done by then, then it is your responsibility. And you will face the consequences of either being kicked out of clinicals or being held back a term. And that has happened to me a couple times. Like, for example, Complio. Complio. So before you start your nursing core term, you have a big responsibility to get all of these requirements done. Getting vaccinations, getting lab work done, all these things done before you can start core. And they will give you a date. If you do not submit everything and are not compliant by those dates, you will get kicked out of your clinicals. And if anything expires by the date of during that clinical, you will get kicked out. So it's very important for you to stay up to date with all the things that they tell you to stay up to date on because if not, you will face the consequences. Another example is sometimes for clinicals, you have to submit certain documents in order to do your clinical at a certain hospital or or at a certain nursing home. Some people that I know did not send in all of the information and the paperwork on time and had to be kicked out of the clinical for the next term and had to be held back a term. So there are certain things that you just have to be responsible for. You know, as a nurse... You have to show that you are responsible and that starts with nursing school. That's the best thing about West Coast is that they prepare you, you know, to become the best nurse that you can possibly be. You know, even if that means making sure you bring in your bring your um, school ID at school at all times, because when you're a nurse or I work in the hospital, if I don't bring my ID, I can't get in the hospital. You know, people are going to think that I don't work there. So it's very important for you to have your school ID, you know, showing on time to clinicals, like looking professional. That's a lot of things that the school um, makes you, you know, do. And it just helps you to become a better nurse. Um, And I think that's a really good thing about West Coast University is that they just have a lot of professionalism and they prepare you in ways that you don't think that they're preparing you in order to be a nurse. Uh, Okay, next question. Okay, schedule. So how is it, how is being at West Coast University, you know, what is the schedule like? Again, like I said, it is 10 weeks per term. So each term you have one core clinical. So like you have the first nursing core term, you have fundamentals. Then you have med surge one with, um, you know, pharmacology. And then you have mental health and then you have med surge two. Then you have, um, what's out there, med surge two. Then you have... OB, then you have peds, and you have critical care. 
So you only have one theory class once a week, which will last either three or five hours, depending on what class you're taking. Um, but it'll range between three hours to five hours. So just be aware of that. That's how long your classes will be for your theory class. Your theory class is basically just lecture going over the material and things like that. Then, in addition to your theory, you will either be taking one online class or one on ground class or even up to two online classes at some point. So just be aware of that. So in addition to your theory, you have a skills or a clinical day and an online two up to two online classes or on ground classes, depending on the term that you are in. Um, so, yeah, it's just just depends i can't really go over every single term because it's like what's the point of me going over if you guys go to the informational session they will provide you with a packet of all the classes that you will take and like what you'll be taking with what and what's online and everything so it's very important for you to go with that i'm just providing a video just in case you guys know more before you go and then you'll have more questions if you go out and meet someone okay um so yeah so every class you have a theory and in addition to this, there's extra stuff that happens throughout the term, which will happen on like one or two days that you sign up for. So you have something called simulation, which is what you guys see a lot where we have that fake dummy that can poo, peep, cry, talk, um, have a temperature. You can check the blood pressure and everything like that. You basically sit in a room, you have this like big old window and then it's like a patient room and you could watch your peers like practice and like see what they do and then you practice yourself when it's your turn and you just watch so you do that maybe one to two times a week you are not graded it is just for learning it's a great way for you to learn hands-on experience at the school which i find is really awesome there's a professor that's there to help you and the fact that you're not graded takes away all the stress that you get for having to deal with a fake patient but it is the most it's cool you guys just have to like do it just don't be afraid when you go in there just Know that it's a learning experience and everyone in there basically probably doesn't even know what the hell they're doing. Um, uh, and then also in the beginning of when you start nursing core at the beginning of each week or at your first week, sometimes in second week you have something called the med math exam. This is a way for the school to prepare you on making sure you know how to you know calculate medication dosages and administrations. And you have three chances to pass this test. If you don't pass the first time, then you take it the second time. If you don't pass it the second time, then you take it the third time. If you don't pass it the third time, you get kicked out of everything in that term. You get kicked out of clinicals, you get kicked out of theory, and then you get held back one term. If you are taking like an additional class like nutrition or pharmacology, you will still be allowed to take that, but you are clicked out from clinical and from theory. Because if you don't know how to calculate medication administration, you will not be allowed to pass medication on the floor as a nursing student. So that is why you end up getting kicked out. So that is also very stressful, but it is very doable. It's like 25 questions and you have to get a 90% and above in order to pass. So that is what it is. Three chances if you fail. I've had people that I know that have failed and they had to be held back another term. But it's okay if you do. Because I stayed back a term to take a non-clinical term um, in order to be part of a campaign with Gymshark. If you guys don't know who Gymshark is. But that's what I did. So. So far in my own experience, I guess the thing that you learn in the beginning is that everyone says to keep going because you will get through it. Which is true. You know, I've been in the program for about a year and a half almost. And I'd say that it is pretty much, you know, just to keep going and you get a good handle of it maybe halfway through. You know, the when you get to OB, it gets a lot more easier because your clinicals are only four times a week. And before that, you had to go to clinicals 10 times a week. Like I would be driving all the way to East LA, take me an hour to drive to East LA and take me another hour and a half to drive back home for 10 weeks, for nine weeks straight. So that was tough or like even for mental health I had to drive all the way to like LA. But once you get to OB it gets a lot more easier because of the fact that it is only four clinicals um, that entire term. Same thing with peds. Not sure about critical care but it does get a little easier and I heard public health isn't that bad either. So that's how it is at West Coast University. Um, hopefully I was able to answer a lot of questions. Um, oh one thing that I wanted to go over 
is that if you guys need to see if the classes that you took are going to transfer to West Coast University, I have attached, attached, I have linked the link down below. I'll just look under for the West Coast University transfer equivalency system. I'm um, going just click on that and then you could look up, you know, the school that you're at and what classes can transfer from that specific school to West Coast University. So if you guys do like these videos, please let me know. I don't know what, I had, like, uh, I don't know what other kind of videos you guys want to see. But let me know, comment down, let me know if you guys like it, let me know if you guys don't like it. That way I know what kind of videos to make. The reason why I want to make these videos is because not a lot of, there's not a lot of information on West Coast University, or usually only on the website. And as a nursing student here, the only way to get through is if we have each other. So I want to be able to provide as much information as I can and just to help other people, you know, get through their journey as a nursing student or as a student at West Coast University. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that thumbs up button. Thank you.